I'm Lieutenant Colonel Paul Tucker Jancy. Everybody knows me as Tucker. It's my call sign. Or in some years back, I've been in the Air Force now for a little over 18 years, uh, part-timer now in the New York Air National Guard, and I'm on a full-time tour down here at the National Guard Bureau. It's one of the first in the National Guard to get sick from COVID before we all knew it as COVID-19 or, you know, it's just the coronavirus. You might've heard it on the news. And I got sick uh, February, March, early March of 2020 is when I was actually infected. I didn't know I was infected. I, like most of New York, didn't know uh, what was about to happen. That led to 10 tough days of uh, extreme fever, 104 degrees. And on the 26th of March, I collapsed in my kitchen floor. Saratoga Springs, New York's bravest showed up. I knew something was wrong as they walked in and they tossed a blue mask that we all well know on the floor and said, can you pick that up? So brother, I can't do anything without any help. And they said, you're our first one. And uh, from there I went to the hospital with respiratory failure. Uh, Saratoga Hospital, their care teams, the nurses, the physicians, the best they could, they stabilized me. Uh, I survived up until April 1st uh, on my own with just supplemental oxygen. So on April 1st, which happens to be my wife's birthday, by the way, and our anniversary, I wound up in a coma. I was in a coma on a ventilator for 11 days. And on April 9th, the decision was made to pull my feeding tube, let nature take over, and I continue to fight. From there, uh, my first memory was April 15th of 2020. And that's when I woke up, shockingly, in a hospital. I don't know where I'm at. And in the meantime, my guard unit had raised money, not only for me, but now they started feeding the hospital staff. I recognized that in life or death, they were there. Um, I'm tearing up now even saying it. In my condition, uh, on a ventilator, everybody else uh, was either still in the hospital, they passed away, or in a rehab home. I was the first one to come off that vent, survive, and walk out of there. Uh, and it was a win for all of us. Uh, my unit was there. Not only was my unit there, our other uh, National Guard units uh, had started the response in New York, uh, famously so now, uh, both Army Guard, Air Guard. We all came together for the community because we're all part of the community. It's us. I owe uh, my life to my community. The guard family that came together and provided for my family when I was in a coma. I can't say thank you enough. They came together and really just did it. No one asked them to do it. They just knew what the right thing to do was. They're ready. They're all, we're always ready. We're always on. Even as part-timers, we're always ready. And I'm, I'm proud to say, yes, that is me.